Good morning. It's lovely to see you again today. I was just thinking this morning about how important it is sometimes to talk to yourself. <laughs> it's a strange thing to say, isn't it? But you know those days when nothing seems to go right and you're, you're fed up and perhaps you're just feeling low uh, you've just woken up, you know, and it, everything's wrong. Perhaps you've got too much to do and, and you just haven't got the energy to do it. Or perhaps you haven't got enough to do and you're bored out of your mind. Perhaps you've just, you just don't feel very well. You know. And the question you have to ask yourself, and you have to say it out loud, my dear friend. Say it out loud. Because... You can't hear your thoughts and your soul needs to hear the question. And the question comes in three verses in Psalm 42, 5, 42, 11 and 43, 5. And it's worth reading both those Psalms if you get a chance today in your devotions at Psalm 42 and 43. But they're identical. These three verses, they're identical. And they say, why are you cast down? O oh, my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Learn the verses. They're, th they're identical. All three verses are identical. And 42, 5, 43, 5. If you don't remember the 11, that doesn't matter. That'll be the third one. Three times, exactly the same. And in the Psalms, it describes why the person who wrote the Psalms is distressed, disquieted, unhappy, disturbed, not right, out of sorts. We might call it out of sorts, disquieted, out of sorts. You know that sort of feeling. And the Psalmist describes why he feels like that. But having described how he feels about it, he comes out with this question. When you're feeling very low, ask your soul, ask yourself out loud, why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Have you got a reason? And when your soul, your inner being says, well, everything's not right, everything's difficult, Every, I can't I can't do that. I've got something coming up and I can't face it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea the direction. And then the second half of the verse, speak to yourself again. Tell yourself, hope in God. For I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Whatever you're facing, you do not have to face it alone. Jesus himself promised he would never leave us nor forsake us. He left us his Holy Spirit living within us. We do not face the difficulties of life alone. Our hope must be firmly placed in God. And as you think about the thoughts that have been going through your head that have made you feel so low, if they're negative thoughts then get your praise list on Spotify or Amazon Music or whatever resource you have, or maybe even resort to a praise CD if you're still in that generation. Put some praise music on. Stir your soul up to praise God. Do not languish. Do not indulge yourself. Lift up your spirits. You are the one who chooses. You, why would it be written here that as a choice? It is a choice, you know. We have to control these thoughts. We have to discipline them. We have to tell these thoughts. You've got no reason to be like, if you need help, ask for it. God will give it. You need wisdom, God will give you wisdom. You need help, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. i tell you a little a little story. Um, 
every so often, um, probably about every two months, uh, uh, we, we still have a mat mattress on our double bed that needs turning. And because I'm heavier than Terry is, um, it needs turning side to side and top to bottom. And it's a double mattress. It's a big mattress. It's a heavy old thing. And uh, when, I've, when I was not so well um, last year and the early part of this year, um, and as Terry is, is um, a little bit older than he ever was before, we dreaded uh, turning the mattress because we didn't think we could do it. Because it, it is very... And we thought, who could we ask for help? And uh, when with being the terribly independent people that we are, we thought... Well, we'll see if we can manage it ourselves. So before before we did the did the turn, we said, Lord, please help us to do this. And every time we've had to do it, we've managed to do it without too much difficulty at all. And we don't know how we've done it, but we got the help we needed from the Lord. My help is in him. Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. God helps us with the very things that we think we cannot do. He helps us. Now you may think that's a silly example, but God is very practical, incredibly practical, and he will help us with every aspect of our life. He is just a prayer away. He's just a, just a request away. So when you feel low and horrible, out of sorts, downcast, speak to yourself out loud. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Have you got a reason? And does your reason stand up against scripture? No, it doesn't. Even if you're facing a very difficult medical diagnosis for yourself or for someone else, you can still praise God because we have eternity to look forward to. And God is your help and your God, even when you're ill. Praise him. There's no circumstance that he cannot help with. He cannot be involved with. Praise God. And my time is up. Psalm 42 and 43. God bless you today. And have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.